My name is Jill. I am 26 years old and I am a sexologist. I love being a sexologist. You're not going to find another person who loves their job more than me because I get to talk about sex all day. I am on a mission to teach the world that sex should be fun and pleasure is good for you. I teach sexuality at colleges and universities on topics like the politics of female sexuality and body image. I also teach sex education and empowerment informally in people's living rooms. I have a retail store called Feminique where people can come in and purchase vibrators and lubricants and massage oils and lingerie in a classy, upscale, and sex positive environment. I write a sex column for a local paper. I write my own blog online and I just published my first book called Fighting the Crusade Against Sex. I have a bachelor's degree in sexuality and a master's degree in sexuality and I am wrapping up my doctorate in sexuality. And when I'm done, I'll be the only person in the world with all three degrees in sex. But it's not all rainbows and orgasms. We still live in a world where people think we shouldn't be talking about sex and I have to deal with these people on a daily basis. In the end, I love my job, and it's all just a part of the day in the life of a sexologist. I came over to my mom's house today to help her make penis and vulva cupcakes for Feminique's fourth birthday tomorrow. So my mother had already made the cupcakes, and we filled them with cream, and then we iced them, and then we put penis and vulva chocolate on there and then decorated them with clitorises and semen. <laughs> it's uh, it, it was fun. I mean, I, I haven't been creative like this in a long time. My mother is extremely talented with her cake making and it was really nice to be able to help her with this process. This is her first uh, major cupcake project. So I wanted to give her a hand with that. And uh, it, was, it was fun. It was not something I would want to do every day, but it was nice to hang out with my mom and help her with that. One day, she literally just sent me a text with a picture of boob cake, and I was like, wow, that's really good. She said, I made it. I'm like, you're kidding. I knew she was pretty good in the kitchen. I didn't know that, you know, the intensity of, you know, her artistic ability in decorating cakes. And from there, she just took off. So all of Feminique's events, she's made me boob cakes and penis cakes and pole dancing cakes and antique vibrator cakes and you name it. And uh, they're always, the attention to detail is amazing. And they taste good too, which is important since we're eating it. So it's, it's art that you can eat, and she does a fantastic job. When I'm around my family, oddly enough, there is like, that's what she said in sexual innuendo all over the place. So we're talking about the tip of the icing bag, or laughing, making jokes about the tip, just the tip, and cream filled, and we're just acting like children and having a lot of laughs. Every once in a while, Joe, you have to wipe the tip off to get the cream. Often. Thank you for that, Mother. I'm wiping the cream off my tip. You see this, Mother? Cream coming off the tip. See, isn't that better? <laughs> yes, it is. My mother is very proud of what I do, and it's really nice to have such a wonderful support system with my family. And my mom shows her support by making me cakes at every Feminique event, telling me that she's proud of me, and bringing these delicious, beautiful cakes for everybody to enjoy. I do remember um, being about 15 or 16 and bringing my parents, I don't remember which one, a copy of Cosmopolitan magazine and showing some sex article saying, you know, if you're going to please your man or whatever type of sex tip they were giving, do this, says so and so, you know, PhD, author of blah blah blah, and I'm like, I want to be that person that when Cosmo needs sex advice, they want to call me. How do I be that person? So I remember talking to my parents about, how do I get a PhD in that? Help me find a school so I can study sex. So that was about 15 years old, and I remember them being like, cool, that sounds like fun, yeah, the world needs more, more of that. Jill has known since, I think, like 10th grade in high school that she wanted to be a sexologist. And, you know, in 10th grade, when she first told me, I was like, yeah, she's going to change her mind a hundred times, you know, like most kids do before she gets out of high school. And Jill has always said that, and that's what she always wanted to do. And, you know, I think it's great. Jill, I am like so proud that Jill, at, in her early 20s, you know, was able to open this store 
and now here it is four years later and she's still in the store it's great I can remember when you know she came home from health class and she, you know they had the talk in health class and she came home with her little baggie with the deodorant and the pads in it and you know I was like oh what's that and she literally was like put her hands over her ears and said eh, I don't want to hear you and ran up her stair and ran up the stairs and just refused to talk about it it's fascinating to see her evolve from that to a sexologist you know the next step is taking three big boxes of cupcakes and traveling an hour back to Feminique without ruining them. That's the goal.